Yo, 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 what's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Gio back with another one, man. Like I never left, man. This right here, man, it's a crazy topic, man. This is about your boy Dan and Check the Star, man. I'm pretty sure y'all done seen some of it, the speculations or whatnot, man. But Lieutenant Dan said he done had enough of Check the Star, man. He said Check the Star is doing nothing but chasing clout. He's a clout chaser. But Check already came back and said that, hey, you wanted me to record. You wanted me to keep the cameras going. You know, you 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 wanted the clout. You want, you know, y'all was working together with it. Lieutenant Dan said he ain't with that. He said his room that he was staying in, which was his bedroom, and they were sleeping on the couch, letting him stay in the room. He said he felt uncomfortable with that. He said the, the place was just too comfortable for him and he's not adjusted to something like that he's adjusted to the way he's been living he said it just felt too good and he liked to be on his own you know so they've been going back and forth back and forth back and forth man even about a damn haircut man the boy dan said he won't feel in it check said look man I, i'll set that up because you wanted me to book some appointments man you know we had some interviews to do and you know i wanted you to look crispy I wanted to be crispy. You wanted to be crispy. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make sure you was good. So all I see is, man, your boy was just looking out for him, man. Like, yeah, he going to get clout off of him, of course. I mean, why wouldn't he looking out for him? He already got clout as that, you know, and, and as well. So it's like he already winning, you know. Your boy Dan said he ain't having that, man. He said, look, man, stop calling me. Don't hit me up. He said, F all y'all people that try to support me. He don't care about the 100K he missed out on and the meals that he done missed out on. He said he going to make that up because he is clout. He said he's the biggest mug on the internet right now. So basically, he said he bigger than uh, Shamar, Woody, and Charleston White. And those three, they killing it right now. You know what I'm saying? He said he... He's bigger than that. It's bigger than life. It's bigger than rap. <laughs> like Birdman say. But anyway, man, this is a crazy situation, scenario for them to be in. All it's going to do, whether they, they beefing or not, if the beef is real, it's going to make both of them get more clout. Or if the beef is really real, real, Dan, he just going to keep doing his thing. He going to elevate regardless, man. He said he planned on getting an RV or some type of pickup truck, man, with a camper on it. He going to travel from... Florida all the way to the West Coast, from the West Coast, up north, from up north, he coming back home, and by that time, he done ran it up, and he gonna get another boat, man, y'all gonna see this dude doing his thing, man, for real, I salute him, I mean, he, he had an overnight sensation, man, everybody want that, who wouldn't want an overnight sensation, man, you know, so, I just hope they can work things out, man, you know, uh, Aiden Ross tried to help him, he didn't want that. You know, a few other streamers and stuff tried to help. He said, man, look, he good. He just think they're trying to use him. He already got his own clout. He said he don't need no clout, man. Y'all got to check this one out, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit them comments, man. Let's talk about this one, man. And uh, let's go from there, man. What y'all think going to happen? Do y'all think they going to be back cool? Him and check the star? Or do you think, hey, he going to work that out as well as the big streamers and go forward, you know what I'm saying, get them big bags? Or do you think he just going to be by his lonesome? He said he used to that. That's what he's accustomed to. He going to do his own thing since he got his own clout now. He got him. He getting bags now. He said he don't need nobody. So what's y'all take on that, man? Drop that in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that. Let's talk about this, man. And um, let's run it up, man, to the next one, man. I'm going to check y'all on the next one, man. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, stay blessed, stay happy, man. And I'm out. No, I'm sorry to say that we are not friends and you will not be seeing me and check together again. Okay, thanks for your reply. Have a great day. See ya. I'm on the street. I don't care. I'm happy. Okay, I got my Hello Kitty sweatshirt on to keep my chest warm. Got my hoodie, my hat on, keep my head warm. It's Florida. It ain't that damn cold. We ain't expecting snow tonight. Social media stuff, so I'm lost on that. Here is Joe. Hi. Finally. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to tell y'all something. This man got mad because, honestly, I was telling him, go get a haircut. Go take a shower. Let, take care of the things you got to take care of in life. There's priorities. I have a whole list of things from birth certificate, license, getting his registration right, 
man, I've been involved with TMZ, getting him a prosthetic leg. Like, the list goes on and on and on. It's just off the top of my head, including two interviews, one with a radio station and one with Mixed One Essentials. Like, let's be real, bro. I did a lot for you. And you treated me like nothing and said I was trying to kidnap you? Are you serious? You're a whole grown man with a scooter and keys. You could have left whenever you wanted to. Wow. Hey, guys, listen. The next tattoo I should get, I should get a question mark because my brain does not know what it's thinking anymore. Please, my head's gonna break. Bro, you got me going nuts. You had me losing my brain cells. I felt like I was hanging out with the island boys for 35 fucking days. I, straight, talking about, I was born July 7th of 25, July 25 of 1970s, that's all sevens, man. Look at it all together, bro. You add it all up, it's all sevens. I'm 777, I'm the luckiest man alive. I'm really him, I'm Jesus Christ. That's why I call myself JC. Bro, relax, bro. I know, I know the Bible says that I shall not know him when he comes, but I'm telling you right now, I'll know Jesus when he comes, and he's not gonna be like that, bro. I know Yahshua, when he comes, he's not gonna come on some... Very little boat called the seashell that's banging up on the, on the coast of Tampa. All right? You acting like you're Noah from Noah's Ark, bro. Stop the madness, boy. I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding what's going on. And I ain't even trying to stir fry the dude. I'm not. I'd rather have hibachi. No, no. That's why I had check involved. And check would have still been involved. I, I'm not go I wasn't going anywhere on my own. I, I want to do interviews. Joe Rogan wants to do a podcast right here. Joe Rogan wants to stop on that, bro. You definitely huh? got to do this. Um, I messaged my lawyer last night. I texted him, waiting to hear back uh, to find out if I can go get my stuff off the boat today. Um, I had a couple followers message me privately last night saying they wanted to help me get the boat back. I appreciate it. Um, I can't let anybody give me more money because I got 4000 in the bank left over from the seven. So I would have to put that up in order to get the boat out. That's the only way I would be able to do it for myself. Get my own money up first and then let whoever wanted to help chip in. And I can't do that because I could buy a bigger boat for that. Now, somebody also offered to buy the boat. Um, I can get it out and do that, but you know what? I mean, it, got, it went through a lot with me, but I, I got to look practicality right now. And practicality is it's more trouble than it's worth at the moment. So. Independent. It's not about being independent. I'm a fucking human being. I'm not married to you. You're not my bitch. All right? And I'm not your bitch. Not your bitch, but I'm not, you know what? I mean, I'm a free fucking man. I get to do what I want. I'm an adult in a free country, supposedly. Like going to get a haircut today. I didn't really care about getting a haircut. He said he wanted to get a haircut. Yeah, I said, oh, well, me too. Then the next thing I know, we're going to get a haircut, but now it's all about me. We pull in the driveway, park. He jumps out of the car, runs into the fucking barbershop. It took me a minute to get out of the car because it was on a hill. And I'm on my crutches. I get out of the car. I get up to the door, he's opening up the door, and now everybody knows that Lieutenant Dan's coming in, and everybody got their cameras out. Lieutenant Dan, Lieutenant Dan, you know what? I don't do scripted, all right? I don't do script. That's why I shoot everything off my side. There's a cloud chase no more. I had to say it. Oh, now I'm making my own content and putting my own shit up. Not him walking behind me with a damn camera using all my content for his page. And I knew he was doing it. I let him because he was letting me sleep on his bed and use his shower and his wife cooked for me and fed me. But when I had enough, I said, you know, I don't need it to be like this. I don't want to be mooching off the couch. And it's time for me to get the hell out because every time I can't get nothing of my own shit done because every time I turn around and say I want to do something. Uh, I know. Listen, nobody had to warn me. I'm not fucking stupid. All right, I'm not stupid. I can see through everything. I see everything. I hear everything. I may look like a dumbass, but you know what? I know. The boat's been released. Um, they're getting the total for me. To find out how much the towing and storage is going to be. The boat's sitting on the ground right now, not even on blocks, from the way I understand. So that's not really good, but that's all right. We're going to get the boat back. Those are the questions. Because how I lost it, simple, straightforward. It was an accident, moped accident. I rear-ended a car, went flying, busted my leg all up. A guardian angel came and saved my life so I wouldn't die at that time. Went into the hospital, 
walked around on crutches for two years. So I finally said, that's enough, and I cut the leg off. I say I cut the leg off. You people take me literally. No. I signed you the consent form to have the doctor cut my leg off. Okay, I wasn't going to sit there with a bone saw and a scalpel and cut my own damn leg off. I ain't damn brute, whatever. I ain't nobody like that. I signed consent form. I just turned 18, and the first thing I had to do as an adult was cut my leg off. You join the military, you sign a consent, you join a, con you sign a contract, okay? You do anything, you sign a contract. But the first thing that I had to do, legal contract, was to cut my leg off. Um, I don't think many people have done something like that and then had to live with it. So anything else that I go through in life is minor compared to what I've gone through. Now, why do people do that? I was staying at checks, and it was it was nice and comfortable, uh, but it was too comfortable for me. I uh, I need to get back on my own. His what girlfriend? She's a sweetheart. She feeds me all the time. It always wants to cook for me, makes me coffee. Um, I love them all. Um, I didn't leave for any kind of bad reasons, so don't start any kind of crap like that. I just had to get out, be able to breathe and do my own thing. I like to work at my own pace, do my own thing. I stop, I do yoga. I mean, I, I pull over in the grass all day long. I just stand on my head, make me feel good. Looking better and better every time I see you. What's this? New ice? Okay, how much that cost? City, nine, this was 90 G's, but they, they didn't give it to me for free, bro. Woo! Just trust me. We're a hundred day tour coming up, man. Stop playing, man. Terrence is a man. He, he's my right hand. If it wasn't for that kid, what he's done for me is I can't even put in the words. Nobody's ever done anything like that for me. If I ever had a son, I'd want him to be like Terrence. That's a great son. I'd be proud to call you my son. Your father must be so proud of you, and your mom, I know she is. If I don't get the money from Terrence, I'm going to sue him. Terrence is the real bad guy here in my eyes. Everything will come out. And I'm an island boy, I'm just trying to make it. I'm an island boy, hold up, I think I made it. I'm an island boy, to the top where I'm going, yeah. I'm an island boy, what you say? Stargate, what I'm doing, yeah. Oh, I don't want to play no games, and you know what I'm really on, and don't you call me on my phone, I'm really in my zone, and all these hoes really love me, I said I'll never fold, cause I'm part of bro oh code you know I'm on that gang shit, you know I'm a gangster at the end of the day, so what you bang, cause I'm that island boy, yo, that like a wild my man, I put my vest on, yeah, oh, I'm an island boy, and I'm just trying to make you know I'm fresh as fuck. Yo soy un niño de la isla, quiero ser bien asombroso. Soy un niño de la isla, para encima donde voy. Yo soy un niño de la isla. Stop playing, man. We do this, man. And yo quiero dinero. Ah. Yeah, it would have been crazy. Theo Vaughn wanted him on his podcast. Barstool, qualified captain. Um, Cameo said he would have made $300,000. Um, I had courtside tickets. Someone reached out with courtside tickets saying we wanted to get us at a game. Like, so many crazy opportunities. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but...